Do you have health insurance? If you don't, guess what? Health insurance is available. Hey, hey, I'm Patricia, your ride share angel. And in this video, I will be talking about health benefits. I don't have any. I decided to do a video while I was looking for some. And I thought maybe this would be good information to share with the drivers so they can possibly have health coverage. So I noticed that Uber has partnered with Stride. Stride is a health insurance broker. What Stride does is offer their free assistance to help in finding the most affordable health plan. Just to let you know, I used to be a benefit specialist for a few years for one of the major banks. And one of the things that I noticed the most, as even with myself, is benefits is really hard to figure out. How can you break it down in layman's terms to the employees so they can prepare for their future? Because that's what insurance is, just in case something happens. I like that Chris Rock said in one of his uh, movies that uh, if you don't use, if, if insurance is just in case something, shh, happens then why when something don't happen i can't get my money back and i'm in agreement with them because we plan in the future so that's what open enrollment is set up now for november 1st to december 15th so during that time insurance companies have that open enrollment time so everyone can purchase insurance during a specific time instead of purchasing insurance when you need it which at the time of maybe an injury or something's going on. So they said, let's have people during a certain amount of time research benefits and that'll be the time that you have to apply for benefits. If someone has tried to apply for benefits outside of open enrollment and if it's not a qualified event, then you will probably get charged more just because of getting insurance outside of open enrollment. That actually was my situation. Earlier this year, I decided to get benefits. And what I did was I was researching this. Oh my goodness. You know, once you reach out to one insurance carrier, 5,000 more call you. I know a lot of people experience that. And then before you know it, just was like, I can't even answer my phone anymore. However, what I noticed is I just said, well, you know what? Let me use a lot of the community things that's available into the next open enrollment. So praise the Lord. I managed. Nothing happened to me. Didn't need insurance. Um, Because, again, there's a lot of community things that you can get that you can use to still make sure that you get your regular care, you know, taking care of this good old vessel that we're blessed with. And I said, okay, I'm going to do open enrollment and I'm going to get me some benefits this year. So I have a, another driver that I was talking to and they told me they had the benefits and they thought that the benefits was excellent. And it was just um, a great insurance to have and they're going to renew. It was affordable. Okay, let me show you how to enroll using the Uber app before we enroll, I wanted to show y'all how to get to a webinar that I think is very informative to help you understand about Stride. So I scheduled the appointment. The webinar, like I said, was very informative. I would strongly recommend they send you an email. So this is me showing you the email that I received and how it connects you to the Zoom meeting. And once you see the webinar, then they'll also email you a replay link. You can go back and revisit any thing that you may need to hear again. Now let's get started on the application. Now again, Stride is an insurance company that is here to just help find affordable, easy, and make it easy for us to enroll. So this first page asks you for your date of birth, your sex, are you a tobacco user, are you, would you be adding any spouses. Then you also have to answer if you have a doctor that you would like to stay with. That matters because if you are a person that follows your doctor that you love so much, you probably would help you narrow down your search. Then it also asks you, do you have any of these illnesses? Again, you want to be as honest as you possibly can. And then it asks you, who would you be claiming on your tax returns? 
here with the estimate that you are able to put in to see if you get any savings just keep in mind that you can change this number but you also can download stride app and they have it to where you can put in your tax expenses which will help you come up with a estimated number to put there I spoke to stride they stated that you probably want to overestimate instead of underestimate because when you get ready to file your taxes in 2022 for 2021 you may have to owe so it's better for them to go ahead and give you money back and here are all the many plans so the emergency room matters to me the doctor visit the cost on my copay to see a doctor and what my yearly deductible matters to me so therefore I am going to go with the bronze and I like HMO I just know one thing guys God forbid if you had to go to the emergency room that's a scary thing today because some hospitals won't even treat you without health insurance until you pay up or they will just put you in the we don't give a damn area alright today I am talking to Corey he is a uber driver here in the austin texas area hi corey hello corey what health plan did you have well i have that uh the dental vision and medical um at the time it was a promotion uh due to the fact that i was a diamond driver um it was eight dollars i paid eight dollars for a uh, total of four months, and that was a promotional plan that they had. And then after that, it went up to $89 after the promotional plan um, had ended. Oh, okay. So when you went to get any, so if you, so did, did you go get any medical treatment from the hospital or doctor doing the coverage? Uh, yes, I actually went to the emergency room. <laughs> And it was so funny because I went to the emergency room four times, four times. But oh, okay. I honestly can say Uber, it, 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 it covered me. It covered me. Uber covered me. Okay. The stride and with Uber, it covered me. Okay. So you end up going through um, which carrier? Um, Aetna, um, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Who did you have? Um, at the time, it was Aetna. I went through Aetna. Okay. How was the copay? Was it affordable? Uh, it was affordable. It was affordable. It was affordable by me being, uh, you know, just a ride share driver. <laughs> you know, I'm a full-time ride share driver, so in my mind, it was affordable, and I loved it. How about your when you got your medical bills? Were you blown away? in a good or a bad way as it relates to how much were your costs to cover awesome my cost for coverage uh 25 percent. they covered 75 percent. i covered 25 percent. it was mind-blowing mm. mind-blowing awesome so you'll be renewing your health care again i hear yes yes <laughs> and you know it, it, why not it's over in open enrollment and we're in a pandemic so hey it, it just makes sense for me to just move forward and renew i totally agree that's why i am on my way of looking for the plan for me and so thank you so much for taking this time to share your story because i know picking health insurance is you know it could be a little difficult because it's a just in case you don't know what's going to happen but you're trying to have it just in case something do happen all right well yeah you you, you know you are right and i just want to thank you uh for allowing me to do this interview with you and just much love to you ride share angel thank you so much bye 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 well i really hope this video was very helpful for you i know health insurance and just learning about it and trying to figure out what is the best choice for you is can be a little daunting because again you just never know with insurance that's why open enrollment is every year so if the plan that you chose one year really did not work for you if you do want to change your benefits you have to do it during the open enrollment time and then you're able to select another benefits that may 
help be helpful to you. You know, some people change their health benefits because their their favorite doctor or the doctor that they love and had in their life for 19 years um, no longer is in that other network. Let's just say maybe a HB, HMO and maybe they deal with more with PPOs. So those are a lot of acronyms um, that don't worry about it. Don't get too heavy on it. If that's the doctor you like, you ask them what their network is and you try to see if you can find an affordable uh, plan within that network. If not, find another doctor. Uh, and then just have the doctor recommend someone to you. However, just know that to try not to get too stressed out about this. Just This is a personal decision. This is one that you would definitely, I would recommend that contact the Stride Customer Service Department. They are very helpful. Again, I'm not doing this video to tell you what is the best insurance plan for you, but I am just letting you know that with COVID going around and so many other things, we wanna be protected health-wise. So I will strongly recommend that you research health benefits if you don't have it just to recap this is a personal decision guys so you have to find out what works best for you um if you're a person that go to the doctors regularly th th you know your plan will be different than mine i don't go to the doctor regularly i pretty much try to exercise and eat right that's why we here at the Rise Share Guide, we're giving y'all so many information to help you save money, help you be healthy. So continue to remember to subscribe. We upload a video weekly with a ton of informative information for new and existing drivers. Until next time, bye.